Hey guys, welcome back to 333 Motoring. We're back in the garage and today we have a couple of beautiful pieces from Ground Control that we're going to install on the E36 M3. What you have before you here is the front lower control arm bearing and the rear trailing arm bearing. Now if you're going to be doing any kind of suspension upgrades, I would recommend doing these first before you replace any other bushings. These ones are going to add the most benefit to your vehicle and ground control makes an excellent piece they come here with some simple instructions however you could just use the uh, Bentley's uh, work manual they have the instructions as well torque specs and um, preliminary tasks and procedures however let's get into this we're going to install the front and rear right here today let's get into it all right so the trailing arm is out uh, relatively easy to pull out to be honest so <clears throat> you have the plate that holds it together mounts up in here bushing sits inside here they're all 18 mil bolts uh, there's three of them 18 mil this is also where you adjust the uh, the rear toe by the way so you can see how there's a little bit of space here and these bolts now if you're not wanting to get an alignment after this, certainly mark your spots. Um, I'm taking the car in to get a, a full alignment and height adjusted before I take it to the track. So I didn't mark mine. I have um, toe specifications that I'm gonna give the alignment shop. So I want them to set it all up. And then the bolt that goes through the actual bushing itself, also 18 mil on both sides. Everything came off pretty easy. I used a, uh, pry bar um, to help me out so it wasn't too bad and then come to find out I'm pretty sure these are polyurethane bushings that were already in there so typically if it's the stock bushing that's in there they recommend you just get a drill and drill them out or drill a big enough hole so we can fit a sawzall blade in there and cut it and just pound it out that way you don't need to press but this one is a Two piece, so it looks like somewhere on the line they replaced it, but we're gonna upgrade to the uh, ground control ones, anyways. So, next step is undo the four hex bolts, and then we're gonna press it in from the inside of the trailing arm, and then this goes on the outside, and we're gonna torque those down to. Uh, 18 foot pounds when we get them on and it recommends like if you have to Press this into place to get it to seat properly only press on this end so Use a dead blow hammer or something soft so you don't scuff up the anodized steel So next step I'm gonna throw this in and then we'll take a look at what it looks like when it's in the trailing arm. Okay, so the right rear trailing arm bearing is installed I was a little bit more difficult than I had hoped. It required much more pressing than I thought it would. Um, there's supposed to be a snug fit, but it's not supposed to require like a full on uh, pressing tool, which I had to go out and source from Harper Freight. I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute, which was awesome. It did the trick. So I, if you can see in here, I did it from the outside in. Uh, I talked to the guy, the dude at, um, ground control so it doesn't matter which way you put it in so this was the only way I was able to actually get it into the housing and see the front of it here so I actually had to press this thing in so with this car being 23 years old um, several people along the lines have hacked out this bearing um, and really beat up the inside of this thing so it was not a perfect fit uh, ground controls product however is made perfectly uh, it actually has like a little guide lip that you put it in so it seats straight and then you could uh, begin to press it in with a dead blow hammer or if you have a pressing tool I okay so I have the front uh, control arm bearing installed here in the housing now um, this is a 23 year old vehicle it's 98 m3 so it did require um, some cleanup in the actual housing itself um, I just used a little uh, a Dremel tool and just slowly 
worked out the imperfections so the bearing would actually um, slide in there nicely. So it didn't take too long, um, but it's just it's one thing that may pop up when you do remove the original um, bearing or bushing from the factory or just from over time people may have beat up the car and changing the the bearings or bushings out themselves and then the very same thing is you have to put the sleeve on the control arm itself and that was also beat up so that required um, some cleanup as well now i would recommend when you pull out the control arm um, i remove the in link from the sway bar because it relieves some tension off of the control arm itself when you want to lower down and more importantly when you um, go to put it back when you go to reinstall it now um, I didn't show the the um, removal process of getting the control arm and the, the bearing actually out but it's quite simple uh, I believe it's two 17 millimeter bolts um, that hold it into the chassis itself so when you remove the in link actually reinstalling it makes the reinstall uh, much easier so once you have that in place um, you can see I, I was using a jack here to, to hold it up for me so it's not just um, completely falling down and then when you go to reinstall it and put back the in link once you have everything um, the the bearing itself the housing the two bolts um, tightened back up uh, it's much easier to put the in link uh, back on and I undid the in link from the top so I left it connected to the sway bar itself um, but all in all, uh, relatively easy install, uh, despite a uh, little surprise of having to clean up the bearing housing and the sleeve itself. But uh, looking forward to taking these out onto the track. Um, as always, guys, appreciate you guys watching the videos, watching the content. If you like it, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment. I'm happy to reply. And I'll leave the links and information to the bearings and, and ground control and where I purchased them. Till next time, guys. See you later.